Looks like we lost some poppies. And the beautiful moss roses. I just love these flowers. They're so pretty. Call me the plant lady and join me while I explore and discover nature. I guess the sun was a little too hot today. I don't know. It was like a lot hotter last week. But it's it looks like they just melted. They just disintegrated. Maybe I got like a fungus or something. I don't know. But not a good look. I'm going to have to rake all that out of here. So I just took everything up. It was all looking like this at the roots. It was, it just looks absolutely terrible. So I wonder if maybe the, uh, the new spray I was spraying on everything for the Japanese beetles, maybe it was just a little too strong for the fine, delicate leaves because those leaves on the poppies were like, they were very, very flimsy, right? So I, I wonder if maybe I, I damaged them. I feel so bad. So, um, my sister's coming to visit. I have a seven-year-old sister, and I think what will be really cool, we'll go stop at the store, we'll get some geraniums, and we'll just plant them in there. So, uh, that'll be something cool and fun to do with her. And then I can send her updates on how the geraniums are doing. But for the most part, everything else is looking good. Um, look at the zinnias. It's so pretty. Uh... Sunflowers looking good. I took the lettuce out and I uh, just planted some um, high germination, quick germination seeds. So we'll see if I can like populate that area there. Those sunflowers were just getting a little bit too in the way over here, so I moved them over there. Um, looks like that sitting is looking pretty. We've got some more buds coming in over here. And then the Japanese beetles, they really love these four o'clocks like look at some of these leaves it's just come on guys but I saw a witch flower like maybe that looks like the start of some buds so maybe these will be blooming pretty soon and speaking of buds I saw on the tomato plant that's a flower we got some yellow there so that's super cool um, I did see that the spinach and the kale did not bear so well so I twisted it around so hopefully um, the, the basil will provide some shade for it. We'll see. And then the dwarf bachelor buttons. Those and the seashell cosmos were hanging out over there. And I guess, I don't know, that spot just gets too much sun for such delicate leaves. So I, I, I moved it here. Let's see how it does there. It'll just get the morning sun and then it'll get shade from the umbrella for the rest of the day. Hopefully that helps. But, um, <sighs> really, really super sad and devastated about this. But we'll get some geraniums in there. Those are supposed to help, uh, limit, <laughs> I'll say, limit the infestation of Japanese beetles. So, um, fingers, fingers crossed. So I did it again. I saw these on clearance and I had to get them. They were only $2. So these are Vincas. I think they will look lovely in the open area that I have over there now. Um, these are petunias with a really cool color. I've never seen any of that color. This warm orange peachy color. And these are sun patients. Typically or usually you see in patients which means that they grow great in the shade, but these should thrive in the sun, which I get plenty of. It is late afternoon, about five o'clock on a Sunday, and yeah, lots of sun. So it should do really great in the open area over there with the Vincas. I may do one of each, and then I have a plant over here that hadn't been doing so well, so I may replace it with some of these. That's the plan. All right, let me get into it.